Hello, how's it going, Jessica? I recently spoke to you on the phone in regards to me recording a quick custom video for you guys, showing you guys three easy steps to start improving your online presence and getting more phone call for your business. So before I get started to the video, just to make it easy to understand, I'm just going to be doing a quick overview. That way it's easier. So to start off for this video, I'm going to be focusing on the keyword of Peter Sarasota and why exactly am I doing that? So according to one of my tools, this keyword is being searched an average of 170 times per month. Obviously, I'm sure you know this as well. People, uh, there's other keywords that people are searching for. Um, but to keep this video short, short and simple, let's just focus on this keyword. So to start off, when you search up for a service on Google, the first thing you see is the ad section, map pack section, and then the organic listing. Now, why is it important for your business to be on the first page of Google? Well, ask yourself this. When was the last time you went on Google and you went to, towards the second page, third page? Probably never. Um, and if you did, it was a very rare occurrence. That's why it's very essential and important for your business to be ranking on the top three of the Google Map Pack or on the first page of Google. So let's start off with the uh, Google Map Pack. So I'm sure you've seen this before. When I research up the service, Google tends to put three businesses up here. And why is that so? These three businesses are the most optimized under Google's eyes. There's lots of influential factors that can lead towards this, but the most influential is business citation. So what exactly is a business citation? It's just pretty much your uh, enlisting put in an online directory that has your business name, business phone number, and business address. And what that does is just creates an authority on the Google's eyes, especially if you have more than your competitors. Yes, that is not the only thing that influences your ranking. However, that is the most influential. There's also, there's other important things like optimizing your images, optimizing your business descriptions, and a couple other ones. But <clears throat> to keep this very short and simple, I just wanna make that clear that that is the most influential. So next is the organic listing. I'm gonna be comparing you to your top competitor, competitor which is Jeff Scholl's painting. Um, he is currently generating, let's see, about 165 and it's not from people searching up his business names it's actually from people searching those keywords that I was talking about so let's see boom 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 so let's go to his website real quick so as you can see he has those keywords I was talking about it's like painters in Sarasota let's keep looking Sarasota painters which is the one we're looking at right now painting services in the in Sarasota and so on and other things that help you too when it comes to uh, ranking is having your images saved on those keywords. Let me show you real quick. So as you can see, he saved his image under professional painters in Sarasota. So why is having those keywords important under Google's eyes? So when it comes to ranking on Google, content is king. It is one of the most important things you have to do when it comes to being found by customers. Google likes to see that whatever your customers are, potential customers or leads are searching for, they want to make sure that search is relevant to your website. So that is why companies like Jeff Scholl's Painting um, are taking advantage by having those keywords in their content. Um, secondly, let me just go back to your website and let's see real quick. So by the way, you have a beautiful website, very easy to navigate. Um, the only issue like I was just talking about, it's, it looks like you don't have any keywords. Let's see, Sarasota, no. Um, not really any keywords that are being searched but yeah like other than that like i said you have a very beautiful website the only issue is that you need to optimize your contents in order to be found by google and let's see so next alrighty. so next it's the next influential factor when it comes to ranking on google is backlinks so as you can see right here you're actually generating about 49 organic traffic per month and you have about 458 backlinks i'll go into details in just a second what a backlink is and uh, while yes, you're generating traffic, 49 organic traffic from, per month on average, you're only generating that traffic from people who are searching your business, not from people who are searching for that service. So pretty much you're getting found by people that already know about your business, not by people who don't know about your business, which is why most businesses invest in having, invest in being found by those keywords on Google like Jeff Schultz is doing right now. Um, so to show you real quick what a backlink is and explain to you why it's important to make sure you have a good backlink. Um, this right here is a backlink coming from Yellow Pages under a profile of Lika Ruth Brigginton. It looks like that's a backlink and once you click on it, it will take it to your website. So as a result of that happening, uh, you get some power from Yellow Pages 
And something about backlinks is you have to be really careful because not all backlinks are created equal. It's, it is actually quality over quantity. So as you can see here, you have 40, 458 backlinks with authority score of 8. Jeff Schultz actually has 175 with the same score. So as you can see, it's not about the numbers. It is about the quality. So you be really careful when it comes to getting backlinks, okay? Alrighty, so I know I spoke super fast in this video. Um, like I said, it's lots of information in five minutes, but already, so I just want to make sure you find this video informative. So Jessica, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions. Um, also, if there's something you don't like about this video, feel free to tell me too. Every type of feedback is feedback is welcome. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.